Hi guys, welcome to the Art of Server. So today's video is kind of a confession video because I was wrong. Dad, you were wrong. Dude, you're getting more homework today. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, okay, back to the video. You see, I've had a lot of people contact me on various uh, platforms. And so, oh, by the way, guys, if you want to uh, reach out to me, feel free to, you can obviously contact me uh, through YouTube, um, on eBay, but I also have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram account, so look me up if you want to reach me through those platforms as well. But anyway, I've had a lot of people uh, reach out to me asking me uh, a certain question, and I've been giving out the wrong answer. And it's just because I didn't know, but basically uh, what's going on is that a lot of people are building their first server and they're just using the parts that they have laying around, which is totally reasonable. I don't usually work with consumer uh, grade, like desktop grade stuff. Uh, most of the stuff I work with are server components, like server grade uh, enterprise gear. But it is totally reasonable. If this is your first server, you don't want to go out necessarily and spend a lot of money. Uh, you just want to use what you have laying around just to um, educate yourself with, right? And so that's completely reasonable. But what happens with a lot of the desktop gear is that um, I'll get a question like, hey, I've got this uh, old gaming motherboard or I've got this old desktop computer and I want to turn it into a free NAS server or Unraid server. Um, this is my first time. I'm just trying things out. And I want to attach more hard drives, but I've only got a PCIe by four slot. And so what can I do? What HBA do you have that um, will fit in this slot? And so my standard answer to that has always been, sorry, you know, all the cards I have are at least by eight. And so unless you have a open-ended by four slot, um, you're really kind of out of luck and you need to get a different motherboard. So that's kind of been my standard response. And I was wrong because there's this guy. This is the IBM H1110, and this is an LSI SAS controller. Uh, it's basically the same chipset as the SAS 2008. So this is kind of the smaller brother of the 9201-8i or the 9211-8i. Um, or even like the cards like the IBM M1015 or uh, Dell H310 that are all based on the SAS 2008 chipset. Well, this is the SAS 2004 and it's basically the same chipset except it's only got one SFF8087 port and that's a four SAS lane um, uh, port. Uh, so obviously this is, you know, a tiny card I think it's kind of cute actually. And it's only got one SAS port, uh, giving you connectivity to four additional hard drives um, or SAS lanes, but it is a PCIe by four slot. Now, obviously, you know, we're talking about this tiny little card. Um, you're not going to get, you know, the same amount of PCIe bandwidth as the other cards. But if you want an LSI controller because you're running FreeNAS or Unraid, and those seem to be the most widely compatible ones. Well, now you have this option here, and I think this is kind of nice. I mean, obviously this is not for everybody, but for those guys who are um, building your first server and all you've got is a by four PCIe slot and you just need to connect a few hard drives, this is awesome. Now, you might say, well, I need more than four hard drives, so what do I do now? Well, you know what? Since this is just a standard LSI SAS controller, and by the way, this is six gigabit, what you can do is take this card and combine it with that card, right? Now I've talked about this before. This is the IBM uh, 46M0997 SAS expander. And so this, uh, just to recap, this is basically like a, um, a SAS switch. So you connect this one port to one of the ports on this card and then all of a sudden you have five additional ports. So that gives you a total connectivity of 20 SAS lanes or 20 hard drives. And that with only one PCI slot by four um, PCI slot. And oh, by the way, this is PCI 2.0, just to be clear about that. 
Uh, PCI 2.0 add by 4 is going to be roughly about 2 gigabytes per second of bandwidth on that uh, PCI connector there. Now you might say, hey, I've only got really, literally only one PCI slot left. I don't have a PCI slot for this card. And that's perfectly fine because this is not really a PCI card. It uses the PCI connector just to power uh, the card itself. So I have another video where I show you an alternate way to power this card without actually using a real PCI slot. I'll leave uh, a card in this video up in the corner here um, to that video. So if you want to check that out, but basically you don't have to plug this into a PCI slot to make this work. So uh, literally, if you only got one by four PCI slot, you can connect this card in combination with this card and run a total of 20 hard drives. Now, of course, there are some drawbacks to that. Um, obviously, the PCI bandwidth is less, and also you are running all these card drives through a single connection. And that's a 24-bit connection, by the way, uh, since it's 6 gigabit times 4. Uh, so that's going to give you more than enough bandwidth uh, to saturate the 2 gigabytes per second on the PCI lane. So there are some uh, performance limitations, if you want to call it that. But honestly, if you are mostly using hard drives, uh, getting over 2 gigabytes per second with just 20 hard drives is, um, is not very common. So, uh, so anyway, I wanted to show you guys this new card that I just got. Um, and for all those guys that I've turned away and told you, go get another motherboard, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know that this little cute thing um, existed. And so now I do, and now I've got this in my store. So if you're interested in this, or if you need this, go check out the link to this product uh, in the description of this video. All right, guys, so that's all there really is for today's video. I just wanted to introduce you guys to this uh, new member to the family here, and uh, hope you liked this video. And if you liked it, give me a like, and uh, be sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.